apocalyptic grocery shopping. Oop. We got coconut milk in there. See you later. Salud. Today is May. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, we're losing track of time. It's April. April 25th. 25th. Today is April 25th. We are currently sitting in our second Airbnb apartment. We loved Malaysia before we even arrived here from our first trip when we came three years ago. Uh, so we always wanted to come back here and spend more time. You know, even with the circumstances, you know, being what they are, we feel very fortunate to be here. We feel safe here. And we think the country's been handling it really well so far. If you're interested of how our life has been as foreigners being in quarantine here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, we thought we would open up. And yeah, so right now we're sitting and we're about to have our dinner number one. So that's actually been one of the favorite things of ours to do during this lockdown is order the delivery. So uh, during the MCO here, what's called the Movement Control Order, the MCO here is short for Movement Control Order in Malaysia. Um, the lockdown began on March 18th, so they actually announced it on March 16th, and we had a feeling that was going to happen. We have some friends here, some locals, uh, who pretty much hinted that was going to happen. So we went out and actually bought a bunch of uh, noodles, you know, we bought a bunch of ramen and canned goods and stuff, just to have as a hedge, just in case. If you guys here in Kuala Lumpur watching this, uh, if let us know in the comments how you've been handling the MCO, how it's affected you, you know, what are your thoughts, and if also if you're here, if you're a foreigner here in Kuala Lumpur or in Malaysia in general, how have you been handling the MCO? How's it been affecting you? How are things going? And uh, also when it comes to the food deliveries, let us know some of your favorite food deliveries. We love to hear it. We got here March 10, a week prior to the World Health Organization announce the crisis as a pandemic. We thought everything we planned is going accordingly to what we wanted. The first week we had a blast. We ate a ton oh, of so street food, Malaysian food, delicious food outside. We're filming stuff. And we enjoyed being outdoors. We were so outside. Creamy, luxurious. It's like luxurious texture, so soft, velvety. Wow. Announced the lockdown, it was from March 18 to March 31st. They extended it first to April 14th, then they extended it to April 28th, and they just extended it again to May 12th. But the good thing is that the cases, it's actually been uh, having a positive impact as far as number of cases. But if they find that a neighborhood um, wherever that is, has highest number of cases spike, they have something called enhanced MCO yep. where they contain the neighborhood, that building. They don't let people go in and out. But if you're in more of a suburban area we've read, the enhanced MCO you can't leave at all. And so what they do is they actually distribute groceries. And we believe they do that too in the city. They actually distribute groceries and food to you. Our building actually just has been also disinfecting the place. Yeah, the last two days actually uh, that we've been here, they, uh, they've 
they told us don't leave your apartment between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's gonna disinfect the entire building. That's for two straight days. So we've complied with that. We think that's a very good sign. It's a uh, reason for that is because there is a area called Masjid India here in Kuala Lumpur in the center that's under enhanced MCO. I'd like to think that people are being understanding of the situation. Mm -hmm. We did try to make the most of it. So initially our plan is to be in Malaysia for a month or probably over a month. But the good thing is that even though we are long-term traveling right now, we had no plans beyond Kuala Lumpur. We are still here in Kuala Lumpur for over a month now, trying to be a good citizen of the world by not going outside, limiting contact. Yeah, wearing our masks. So all we're going out for is to pick up our food deliveries and to go out to the grocery store. That's it. I can't believe that we are living in a world where wearing masks is normal. One meter away from each other. We're. Oh, yeah, I stay yeah. in the okay. okay, thank you so much. There was only delivery or takeout options available, and grocery stores are open, essential businesses, but most places are closed. Essential stores open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. only. And we really try to limit it to only when we really need to. First time, high five. <laughs> it is like 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Forgot how it felt like to be outside. Roads are quiet. Minimal cars. And Malaysia is doing a very strict lockdown where you can't even go outside and walk around leisurely. The MCO means that any workers, it's not essential workers, has to stay home. You're not allowed to leisurely walk or run or jog, no recreational activities. There are militaries, everyone's wearing masks. Yeah, we first got here, uh, we'd say maybe 60% of people were wearing masks, but after the MCO was put in, pretty much everybody's wearing masks right now. Even if you're driving or in a motorcycle, you have to wear masks. For the mart, where we get our food stuff, like groceries, it's a five minute walk from where we are staying, only one, family member. Yeah, that's although, part of the rules too. As of the household can go outside. This grocery store is in a big mall, so they actually take your temperature with the temperature gun. They close off all the other entrances. This is the only main entrance. You see a lot of like grab food and food panda delivery drivers coming in because a lot of places for takeout in that mall. If you're going into the grocery store, they take your temperature again. They have a gazillion of wines here. Grocery run has been our form of exercise. We walk to the mall, to the grocery store for five minutes and come back full of stuff for the grocery stuff. So yeah, it's nice to be outside. Public transportation, I'm sure of the public transportation. This apartment that we were at, we were so close to train. You can hear it going by from the window. That we can see it every time it passes by. Being by the train, we noticed after MCO, after a couple weeks, uh, we'd hear the trains go by much less often. So we're pretty sure they cut down the level of service, which would make sense. Car service, which is Grab, yeah. um, is still working. The only catch is there's only one person, the driver and the passenger. Pretty crazy when we go outside, you barely see cars. You know, the, the only few cars you really see, you occasionally see some people driving in the cars. Uh, it's a lot of food delivery, so your grab food and your food panda. And we are gonna have a whole bunch of videos, uh, food delivery review videos. Check up here, we're gonna put a link. Yes, another episode of eating fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a bite of the classic first. Mm. The funny thing in New York City, uh, if you watch our New York City videos, you know, we got them all up here if you want to check them out. Uh, we, our life was built around going outside to eat. Whether it is uh, if we were guiding our food tours around, if we were just going out exploring or filming and all that. So we never really cooked at home. Our kitchen was basically used to store stuff in the fridge, make a smoothie, make some coffee, that's it. 
minimal use of our stove for anything else. And we'd like to talk about what we have, what we're having right now. We didn't tell you that, but we have Mims Fried Chicken. Yep, shout out to our friends and KL locals, Puri and Sue for putting us onto this place. They've been great too. It's like we've been really fortunate to be in a place where we know a couple of locals. They've been giving us a lot of updates on the information going on here and that's been very helpful. We are so fortunate to, to choose Malaysia as our first portal of entry. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, Americans, we do have a 90 day uh, visa here. We hope things can get, you know, I don't know if we can ever say things will ever get back to normal, but we hope things will, it will take time. normalize as best they can. And uh, you know, we feel terrible for our, our home city of New York and uh, especially Queens, Queens. you know. Queens, though, our Elmer's. home borough. Grounds up for the pandemic right now and that's in where America we and pretty much the world. And it's been heartbreaking to see what's going on there. So our hearts are out with everybody in New York mm -hmm. City right now. Um, and if you are there, please support uh, as best you can. If, if you can, you know, support the businesses that are still open. Staying indoors really, really work. Based on what we see in Malaysia right now, they, they keep on extending the MCO and it's been working. We want to really just give you, you know, our perspective what's going on here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Um, it's definitely, they're definitely handling it quite well here so far. And uh, we're gonna see. So wherever you're watching this, thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best, stay safe, stay healthy. We're all in this together. Yeah, and listen, stay indoors. And uh, also when it comes to the food deliveries, let us know some of your favorite food deliveries. We'd love to hear it. You know, stay tuned for those videos that'll be coming out very soon. We love Malaysian food. That's why this is our first destination of our journey. Yeah, and we'll probably gonna be here much longer than we thought, which we're happy about. There's so much of this country to explore, we're excited, so. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.